to Matt Baker from The One Show. Hello. Hello. How are you, Alex? You're very good at that. You try and make a feature of somebody who's sat there. Unfortunately, some dull people. Uh, it doesn't go so well, does it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't come across any of those. I liked it last night because you... Uh, well, let me try and see if I can recreate oh, the, the moment. The Gok One thing. It, yes, Here it we go. Gok. 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 But your timing was a bit off, if you don't mind me saying, Matt Baker. Yeah, we don't over-rehearse, you see. That's the key. <laughs> you Keep rehearse at fresh. all, do you? Keep it fresh. <laughs> I want to be you. Let me tell you why. Everywhere I go, the women say he's a nice bit of trouser. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Is that what you want in life, Alex? Yeah, it's oh, something man. I've never had. Honestly, maybe change your uh, change what you want well, in no, life. Well, no, I've just been reading out. We did an article on obesity, you see, at 10 o'clock, and I was reading that the worst case of man boobs in the whole of the UK are here in Leeds, and I'm thinking of having a reduction myself. Okay. Is it something you can recommend? Um, I would say hit the gym first, mm -hmm. uh, continually, and then see what happens. Put the effort in, you'll get a lot more out of it. Is that right? Honestly. <laughs> trust me, it's worth it. Has this been the best year of your life? Um, it's been a good one. It has. It's been mm. very busy. To be honest with you, I haven't had much time to reflect on it, uh, because everything's been happening very, very quickly. I mean, I have to say Strictly was absolutely incredible it was everything that you would ever hope it could be and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it Re you know I thrived on the whole kind of just the challenge of trying to learn routines so quickly and then you know performing them on the Saturday Night Live in front of you know lots and lots of folk and um, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it I went I straight finished that and went on to do the tour I've been doing country fire throughout the whole lot which was pretty challenging to be honest to try and keep everything going and now uh, having finished I finished on Sunday in Glasgow and then uh, got the flight down on Monday morning and then we sat straight on the on the one show so from Monday night so it's been a bit of a whirlwind to be honest I'm surprised by your answer because I thought you were going to say absolutely I've never had a year like this what year was better then? Do you know I, I've, I, ever since I was a little boy I've really kind of pushed myself to do what I want in that year and uh, and you know if you set yourself personal challenges then and if you then achieve them then you then I guess you have a good year but um, yeah I've, I've had wonderful years I mean Blue Peter was amazing I mean every year on Blue Peter was extraordinary you know you walk into the office and say I fancy flying a jet this week and they go alright then and you do that and you do you, you travel the world you meet some incredible people mm. um, and then you know and I've kind of just carried on with, with mm. that really it's and, the same on this show by the way just the other day I said to the producers I said could we do an article on sausage rolls they said yes go into Leeds and stop at Greg's you yep. see it's the same kind of thing isn't it exactly you know? if you yeah exactly get an idea and follow it through it's the best thing ever <laughs> I think the reason people like you you look like one of us do you know what I mean you, you ask uh, nice questions you don't seem to have your head up your backside has that always been important to you to kind of keep your feet on the ground yeah I think so I mean I, to be honest I don't really like offending people and uh, I just like you know finding out what makes people tick and uh, yeah, I just I, I just enjoy folks' company, to be honest. And I think it, it kind of stems from growing up in the northeast, and you know, being uh, growing up in a farming community and all of that, and just just enjoying enjoying life. I suppose, like you were saying before, you know, you're enthusiastic about the stories and the things that you're covering, and uh, you want to find out about them. I think it's you know, I, I am actually you know interested in the things that I do, and really with the programmes that I've chosen, I've only ever gone for those that you know I'm, I'm close to or, or I feel mm. strongly about, and therefore you can bring you know. I suppose a bit, bit of yourself to it, but also be intrigued about what the what the topics are. I think in this business, it's half alchemy, half timing, and the other half, if there are three halves, uh, your personal talent. I mean, it was just lucky that you happened to fill in for a while at a time when the show was falling apart, and you did a great job, and you mm. came across with warmth. Uh, a lot well, of things, for me, you know, people often say to me that you know I'm lucky and this, that, and the other, but actually, you know, I believe that luck is a lifetime of preparation for a moment of opportunity, oh, and right, if you're not yes. ready for it, it won't happen. And the, those things they'll just pass you by but if you have put some work in and you've done something and you're ready for it then you know you, you do you do create your own opportunities but you, you know. you're absolutely right and mm. I tell you what they've had some doozies on that couch haven't they trying to fill in I tell you it didn't go well for everybody did it well I can't <laughs> comment on that is it fun being live every night on TV with big stars and does it ever become normal when they know who you are before you shake their hands um, it is it's always fun and to be honest with you it, it's, it's funny really because it, it, 
you know what people say what well, you get nervous and all of that but the fact of the matter is the guest that comes in is always more nervous than you are because you're kind of in control they're a little bit kind of oh what's going to be happening and what questions are you going to be asking me and all of that so you you kind of want to make people feel comfortable from the second that they walk through the doors really and so and because of that it's got a really nice feel to it and i just want to bring bring about the feeling that whoever sat watching at home sat on their sofa it's almost as if their sofa is just opposite the one that we're sat on and that they feel part of the conversation so do you ever think about the fact there are literally millions never Never. No. No, never. I mean, you can't really, to be honest. And that's something that, that stems from Blue Peter. I always only ever used to think of one child sat there on their knees in front of the telly and you're just sat, you know, chatting to them. And, and that's how I, how I always... Because really, your audience is never more than three or four. Mm-hmm. You know, if you think about a household, it's only ever going to be a lounge full of um, um, even a maximum of five people. So if you can... There's, there's less people watching at home than there are actually in the studio, if you mm-hmm. think of it that way. Well, I think you uh, have made it look so easy and that's the great uh, skill to any host. You, 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 you talk about the preparation, you absolutely look confident in it mm. and that's not always easy with a live programme because things do go wrong, don't they, regularly? Yeah, of course, but the key is as well not to over overthink what's going to happen. Of course, be it be across all the content and you know what you're going to be talking about, but if you plan it too much, it can only go wrong. If you kind of just go with it, then you're not sure what's going to happen and therefore it's a lot more relaxed. If you start thinking, oh, this is supposed to happen now er, and it all goes wrong then mm-hmm. had a big row on the breakfast show this morning with martin and Catherine because i was talking about you and i said right. you'd got a, a, a an interesting face and Catherine went very defensive because she thinks you're delicious and yeah. she said you got lovely teeth i thought that's a strange thing to say about somebody isn't it Do you know the the ex-editor of blue peter used to say that i was handsome ugly <laughs> so, uh, yeah, oh, take bless. from that what you will. Yeah, I'm just ugly, ugly. That's what my editor calls me. <laughs> hey, listen, before you go, we must talk about you being an ambassador for the National Lottery. What's all this about? Yes, then? well, what we're doing, basically, why I'm on the radio today is that, uh, you know, I'm shouting out about the fact that we're trying to find the UK's favourite lottery funded projects. And there's a big star studded event later on in the year uh, where we'll be finding out all about those people that have dedicated so much to lottery funded projects. And the idea is that you've got to get your nominations in by the this Friday, it's five o'clock. Um, so that's on the 18th, and um, yeah. So if you've got a connection with any lottery project, or you know of anything in your area that you think deserves a bit of recognition, then all you have to do is go uh, and log on to www.lotterygoodcauses.org.uk and then nominate that project, and hopefully they could be part of this massive night that's going to be happening later on in the year. Very good. You're new into the job. Who's your dream guest to be opposite you on the couch? Um, it's a good question. Um, do you know, loads of folk, to be honest. I've met the Queen three times, but also in, in her environment. I think it'd be nice to see her sat hey, listen, on the one come show come on, sofa. get a hold of yourself. I know you're up there with the best, but the one show ain't getting the Queen for an interview. Come on, well, don't be silly. Well, watch this space. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> we should get her on to find out what her outfit's going to be like for Will and Kate's wedding. Maybe that's the uh, that's the quirky twist. The one I think talk. you could get that. You two, you could get William. You know, I can see oh, yeah. them doing that. That's yeah. possible. Do you know? I play a bit of polo myself, so that might be the little thing to kind of entice him. There's in. your inline. There's your inline. Yeah. And and um, what's your day like now? Then we're, we're coming on ten to eleven now. What yeah. happens next for you? I'm going to talk to a few more radio people. Uh, all How about boring. These, these wonderful oh. lottery awards, and then um, oh, then then I'm going. Listen to this. I'm off to a seminar. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. This is really funny. Off to a cinema, and it's called. The Art of Interrupting Graciously. <gasps> Is this a BBC thing? Yeah, it's a BBC oh, thing. Fabulous. Yeah. I ought to go on that because I just butt in. I just can't be bothered to wait. I think yeah. time's too short, isn't it's it? It's funny, actually, because on that point... Yes. You see, I just did it then. I just did it. <laughs> did you know it? Yes. Uh, on that point, and then, then you do... Then, you, then that's There you are. So the one show's on... To, oh, I tried to get in there and you carried on talking, you see. <laughs> that wasn't very gracious. Hey, I've just done it to you. Oh! <laughs> hey, listen. Lovely talking to you. Can we do this properly? Because I've got so many questions to ask you. Right. And, and we haven't had any time. The one show's on tonight... All right, enough for it. It does get on your nerves that after a bit, doesn't it, to be honest? Uh, the one show uh, yes. is on tonight, and uh, that'll be 7 o'clock, and you can find out more from the National Lottery people. What's the website? It's www.lotterygoodcauses.org.uk. Would you say hello to Catherine? She thinks you're lovely. Catherine, hello. How are you? Very is Catherine good. there? She's not replying. <laughs> no, no, she, she's in the bus. She's, she's gone home. She it, does the breakfast show. Oh, All okay. right, well, nice well, to talk to you, Matt. All, all the, the best. best. Good luck on your conference. You'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Belfield in the morning. BBC Radio Leeds.